We're also on a Claudio Castagnoli watch. Have you gotten in touch with the Swiss officials? <laughs> Swiss oh, 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 come on, oh, come oh, on. Well, we didn't expect any subtlety by Lance Archer. Hey, well, yeah, well, well, Osprey just nearly got flown to Switzerland right there. They have split the Look pair out. of oh, decisions. Oh, Jesus, right in front of us. It's the start of the night. The bell sounds as referee Kent Desata will go ahead and call for the bell. What in the world is this? Just like oh, Dallas. No, oh, no, oh, no. Just like Dallas when they met the G1, but this time Osprey refusing to get choke slammed through that table. Watch Osprey. Flying <laughs> forearm. You see the tape on the shoulder? Look That's out, the issue. Look out, look out, you wild man. Sky oh. Twister. That shoulder being put to the test. Listen to that crowd. They've been feeling it, no doubt about it. They're pumped up and ready. And they know that Osprey's put himself on the clock to be right back at the top in New Japan Pro Wrestling before the year is out and to get his revenge on Kenny Omega, look out. From the springboard, no, forget the choke slam. Twice denied. Yes. Cutter got him. Already? Yes, sir, the leg is hooked, two, but a kick out. Osprey saw an opportunity to end this early. He thought he could take it. May still. He's got an opportunity. <laughs> Forget the hidden blade, and instead gets turned inside out. And that's the great equalizer from Lance Archer. He's just got that momentum that his strength and his size can take over a match immediately. Lance Archer advanced this match because he was scheduled to face Juice Robinson in Philadelphia. Juice got... And here they come. Oh, but Kevin, I put to you, how's that teamwork working for LIJ? Because ever since they started coming out and didn't act as individuals, what happened? Shingo Takagi lost KLPW. Hiromu retained the Junior Heavyweight Championship but lost to Sonata. T-Tan lost the finals at Best of the Super Juniors. Naito was choking Doki and I wasn't happy about it. It's uh, been an ongoing rivalry. Now you make a fair point, I think LIJ has come back to the field a little bit, but they have continued to be dominant in these multi-man matches. Yeah, Doki for the G1, Kevin. Let's not get panicky. He's still about 80 kilograms. Just less pudgy now. And he's learned how to wrestle. How dare you. He's great. He's Awful. awesome. And now Takamichi Doku, don't dare call this man legend, which I'll never understand. I think it's the idea of appearing old, Chris. But that's exactly it. That's why Minoru Suzuki hates that label of, of legend as well, because Naito, Naito just did a double take. Just threw up in his mouth. <laughs> what's, what's this guy getting paid for? The difference is that Minoru Suzuki is an awful lot more successful. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Taka nowadays, fantastic legend wrestler and legendary businessman. It's those silver boots. Look at how fast he moves. No, hey, listen, Yoshinobu Kanemaru, the heel master, but has also become so adept at that figure four leg lock. Just recently completing another best of the super junior. Now just enough left in the tank to get that tag. And let's see now, TJ. Anziguri. Puts TJP down, now close, close to Kushida, close. Chop from the top, and a Shote. Hand to hand combat. We strikes by Kushida. Great history between both of these two, of course, both trained by Tajiri, so influential in the early years of Kushida and Akira's careers. Oh, vintage Kushida there. Oh, Doesn't look any different, Gina, right? Oh, right? It, well, we'll find out. It's still early, Kevin. That's why that 
precipitous drop, and the best of the Super Juniors was so telling, uh, and looking for the arm. Wait a minute. Oh. Two for the price of one. Kushida tried to trip TJP, nearly got it done. And there you go, that split second cost him. Now yeah. TJP was in trouble. Wheelbarrow. Oh, here we go, Culture Clash. Kushida hitting it. Culture Clash and into the arm bar. It was that Culture Clash with Kevin Knight hitting the DDT that won the junior tag titles back in April. But Kushida hitting the DDT to get to the arm. Evacua having a little bit of trouble. Kevin Knight going back to his days of playing college football at Shorter University, Rome, Georgia. Playing defense there, knocking TJP down as Akira gets to the rope and will force the break. So the tag team titles at stake, Kushida, Kevin Knight, the intergalactic jet setters looking to take flight. Loading up the If you're Zach, do you know what you want to do? Try and survive for 15 minutes or what? I think he's going to try his best here, but if he can get that arm in, a submission might be his best option. Both have set such a blistering pace, you can imagine. As they are gassed right now. Again, focusing on that arm. Oh, Zach, what? Incredible there by Zack Sabre Jr. Oh. <laughs> PK out at one. Oh, and now two and a kick out. Zach broke the onion bag there with that penalty shot. It wasn't enough. We are about halfway done with our time limit. Every bit of the damage of the last few weeks piling up and the miles that Zach has had to travel. Oh, went again for that DDT in the corner. The cob holding on. Oh. And this is, as I said, at the best of times, you wrestle Jeff Cobb, you're in trouble. With the nobody wrestling a champion's schedule like Zach Sabre Jr. has, oh, it's even harder. Went for it. Caught. Oh, look at this. Oh, come. Hawaiian clutch. Hawaiian Tucker. Virginia. Oh, almost. Cop shocked. Well, Yo is dragging Show out of here. Taking out the trash. With the skateboard. Wild. Hip teenage son of these two great dads coming to the aid. Fight and flash. Yay! And it's 5.40. Time for Godo to get a nice bit of dinner in at the In the Hay by 7.30. Here we go. Lights out. Oh, come on. Get your hat, Kevin. He's good. He can't do it. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. I forgot all about him. Knocked the out you just block off. And now. Repeat. Oh! Go, 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 go! Get him now before this guy gets in there. Streets of Rage. Oh! oh. Right under the chin. How's the torch is still in this? Trying to steal it now. Oh, Here's you, Drew. Pimp you drop. You gotta be kidding me. You pimp juice, pimp juice, too. Son of a bitch. No! Lutro oh. <laughs> might get some more juice, and this time, big size. Here comes Yoshihashi. Oh. 
Try to get go to work. There they go, Chad. But this is a show of force right in the face of the challenger. Yes. Here we go. And get out of the ring. Ring the bell. We'll dispense with the introductions. The never open weight title is on the line. Watch out for that sudden death. Finley's back hinged over that. Listen to the people. Oh, he'll bring. Oh, my God. How far did he fly? This match has started hot and wild. The Bullet Club. Another look. That was Fantasmo's point. That, yeah, David Finley might have oh. all of these new members of Bullet Club right in his corner, but El Fantasmo has oh, 8,000 people here in Osaka Joe Hall in his own corner. And I think the one thing that Bullet Club historically has done is court favor with the fans for some of their antics and their high flying style, their showmanship, whatever. Well, maybe that's where Bullet Club lost their way. Now it's David Finley's Bullet Club. Yes, and, and now it's about violence. But, uh, Have you ever seen Ghetto look so happy? You can't argue how effective that violent style, this savage Bullet Club has been. David Finley destroyed Tamatonga at Dante. Yeah. Spectacular. Do you remember when Wato ate that first loss in Best of the Super Juniors? Oh, he should have sat down and stayed with that pit. Oh, you're and right. He did this time. Yes. That's exactly what he did. Thank you. Oh, look, he's out. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. Marty might have to call it. Kevin. Oh. And as Hiroma was fading into unconsciousness, that such shock. Trying to rock again, but you saw the difficulty Hiroma had the first time. I don't know if he's got the strength at a longer distance. Oh, look at him pull him right in, Kevin. Oh, my God, the pain, the tortured shoulder, the tortured neck. Is it? That's going to be it. Hiromu's not going to tap out. It's just... Maybe watch a little... Yo, oh, he's touching it. He's just not touching it. No, yes, oh, okay. Now, just now. He brushed it so gently, I thought he had it. Yeah, the best of the Super Juniors for Master Watto began with a victory, but it could have been a defeat tempered. But he learned the lesson and sat right down. He beat Akira to start. Sometimes listening to you makes sense, Sita Kaku. I agree. Shriven. He'll pick you up. Oh, a flurry of elbows. Oh, a catch and release, and we'd have a new champion. Stop it, Kerb, stop it. Submission, and two. Right behind Okada. Come on, Mox. You expected it to be wild, but this is another level. Red Shoes has lost control. Now he's taking the head off Ishii. And the cover with the leg going to a kick out, a kick out. A bleeding John Moxley split open by the headbutt of Tomohiro Ishii. Meanwhile, Shoto Umino just throws Kazuchika Okada into the railing to our left. This match has fallen apart in the most perfect way. It's a day ending in Y, so John Moxley's gonna bleed. The 
Joe Moxie might come away with the Never Open Six Man Championships as well. As much as Ishii and Tanahashi don't want to work together, that little sequence there was a well-oiled machine. And now, oh, we go! Of course, as we look at that devilish grin in the face of Yoda Suji, we think back in the most famous upset of a champion, the Rainmaker Shock, when Kazuchika Okada, back in 2012, returns for excursion. Beats Tanahashi here in Osaka, but had a whole month of preview tags to formulate a game plan. Yoda Suji, like Chris said, speared Sonata out of his boots and then went back to Mexico, only to return two days ago. Just as the Sonata chants get going, they seem to get 